Okay, so I got it working again. And I'm going to go ahead and... I'm not sure if I... Oops, that's the wrong layer. I'm not sure if I like the way this shadow actually, or highlight looks. So, I think what I'm going to do just get rid of it. Use a larger brush here for a moment. Add some color back in there. Dole that out. Put my brush size down again. Get my pink color. And just... <laughs> what? It did it again. Why is it... Why does it keep doing that? Let me try something here. Huh. It's not working on my keyboard either. I have no idea why my computer is acting weird. And I can also use the flat brush and turn this up a little bit more and just add a little maybe on just some of these we can add really bright Okay. I'm going to go back to my clouds layer and I'm going to pick up, let's see, go to the brush library, the standard brushes. Now into the standard brushes, go to um, effects brush. Let's see, where are they at? There we go, effects brushes. And we're going to go to glow. You know, this is actually a cool brush, this fire brush. Oh, that's not the fire brush. That's the fur brush. Fur brush is cool too. But let me see here. Fire brush. That's really neat. You can do some cool stuff with that. But let's go to the glow brush here. And I'm going to zoom in to the clouds in the background. And just really little circles. I'm just lightly touching little circles. And I'm varying the strength. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. But if you just lightly do it and vary the strength, you can kind of get cool little cloud texture. You don't want to overdo it. Just a little bit on the edge. Not much. Just kind of define that there's clouds there coming up. And then maybe a little bit over here. Kind of hint 
down a cloud there and hit another cloud there. thinking that uh, I go back to my regular brushes then and then let's see here oops Rob's basic brush I'm gonna go back in here with this blue color and just get rid of some of that there we go because I just want the ed very edges to have it let me add a little bit of this kind of blue back in there as well. Okay. I got clouds. That works for me. Okay, so with all that now, I wanted that kind of the colors in there. That way I can see her colors better. And I don't know if I want her to even be that light, but I'll try it and see what happens, I guess. Now I'm going to go back to the skin layer. I think after I make this one, I'm going to reboot and see if that fixes the stupid problem with the undo button. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, now the bottom part of her face is actually going to be more neutral. But I know I'll get some red tones in here in her face area so the middle of the face you're going to have your kind of red tones and then you'll have you know, more red and then you'll have your really red for the upper lip so I'm going to have the light kind of coming down and the bottom lip will receive the light and then uh, my neutrals which will be my shadows and I'm thinking I'm going to use this neutral color instead let's try that one and then bring this skin color back into it little bit I'm going to kind of have that neutral color um, one of these neutral colors kind of coming down into her shoulder area a little bit and on her back neutral like that all neutral on this side that's a little too big of a brush I think okay so let's go and her spine will come up just wanna block in some darks there where her spine's gonna be and then I'm gonna kinda neutral all that side because all that side is going to be the side that where the shadow is going to be and it's kind of okay let's see here I'm going to and I'm going to add some uh, this warmer color to the shoulders up there, to the breast. There we go. I'll have the underside here be kind of cooler. Maybe even like to add a little bit of that neutral color there. And then 